The sheer amount of ambition put in a Sonic Adventure is not a common thing in video games. Six different characters with six different playstyles, a soundtrack that just does not stop. But the piece of this ambitious puzzle I'm here to talk about is the story. In the last video, I went through Sonic Adventure's story in chronological order and broke it down into eight very loose chapters. If you haven't checked that out, you can click here. It'll make this video make a lot more sense. And it's pretty good if I do say so myself. But if... Ain't nobody got time for that! Here's a breakdown. So we've got the part where we bundled all the flashbacks to the past, the part where Eggman explains what he's up to with chaos, the part where if we just talked about things more, the situation wouldn't have gotten worse, the part where everyone is chasing after everyone else, the part where things get exciting and all the characters are in the same place at the same time, the part where the story just keeps happening, and the part where it just ends. And of course, the climaxing epilogue for the supersonic level. So we're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore? But after doing all that research, I started to think, could this story be told better? <laughs> I know that's a very divisive statement to make, and I want to preface this by saying, I really like Sonic Adventure. And I promise you, I wouldn't spend all this time working on these videos if I thought the game just sucked. This is just my weird love language towards video games. I crack jokes, and I think way too in-depth about them. But at the end of the day, this is a story about a talking hedgehog and his woodland friends stopping an ancient god bent on destroying the world. It's gonna be absurd, and I just want all of us to bask in the absurdity. So without further ado, I'm Binkle Monkey, and here's how I tell Sonic Adventure's story better. So what's wrong with the story as is? Well, for me, the climax of the game isn't where it should be. If we dust off the old plot development chart I'm sure many of us saw in English class, we see that all of the action of a story builds to the climax. And in Sonic Adventure, I'd argue that the climax is when all six playable characters are aboard the Egg Carrier, which itself is a very climactic location, but the plot does not capitalize on the situation. There are so many events and levels that happen after the Egg Carrier that drag the story on and on and on, making everything after it pretty anticlimactic. The game also shoehorns in some levels in places that really don't help the story. For example, Sonic doing Speed Highway while he's looking for Amy has never really made any sense. Either has Amy's trip to Final Egg just to turn around and head off to the Egg Carrier. So here are the goals of this retelling. Number one, neatly fit all the necessary events of the falling action and the anticlimax to before or during the climax. Number two, move the shoehorned levels into places that better tell the story. And number three, do all of this without adding or losing any levels. So here we go. We start with Dr. Eggman in the center of the Lost World. No prologue this time, we'll come back to it later. Eggman mentions these stone tablets after the Egg Hornet is defeated. Oh yes, it's just as the stone tablets predicted. And then they're never seen or mentioned again. Some people in the comments were saying that the tablets are supposed to be this mural of chaos, so we actually do see them in the game. But for me personally, a mural is a mural, and a tablet is more portable. So we're gonna add some real tablets, and give them some more significance than a throwaway line from Eggman. He finds them here at the center of the temple, alongside the giant sea monster mural, and says, It's Chaos! The God of Destruction! And he takes the tablets with a menacing laugh. <laughs> Cut to Angel Island, where, because the tablets were disturbed, Chaos is able to shatter the Master Emerald and escape. Because, you know, they never really tell us why the Emerald chattered. Chaos still has his run-in with Froggy, but after that, Eggman appears and reads something off the tablets, causing Chaos to become subservient to him. Like, why else would this god of destruction want to work with Eggman? And it adds a little bit more mysticism to these mystic ruins. So now Eggman has Chaos go to Station Square, and Sonic does Speed Highway now to follow the cops to Chaos. Everything else stays the same until Gamma gets introduced. Gamma defeats Beta in their duel, granting him permission to work on the Egg Carrier. But Eggman is far crueler to Beta immediately. There's no, oh, you can come along too. It's just, you worthless piece of junk. And Beta is powered down and beamed away. Eggman says something like, I'll see if I can make something useful out of you yet. And it sets the tone early for the world Gamma has found himself born into. And a small character growth tweak I want to make is how hard Tails takes the loss of the Chaos Emeralds to Eggman. We find out through inner monologue that he blames himself entirely. Tails wants to be just like Sonic, and these mistakes make him feel like he could never possibly live up to that expectation. 
Or worse, Sonic will leave him behind, like he's dead weight. Knuckles still has his confrontation with Eggman and Chaos too, but how about he doesn't see passed out Sonic and Tails? I just can't imagine finding a friend of mine laying on the street in front of a casino and going, I'm sure they're fine. Knuckles still believes Eggman's lies and fights Sonic and Tails. They lose the Chaos Emeralds and deal with Chaos 4, but afterwards the Sonic heroes like, talk about it? Knuckles explains that the Master Emerald broke, and they decide to divide and conquer instead of just... Hey, we can't let him get away! Yeah! You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Sonic and Tails still get shot down by the egg carrier, but they both fall into the Mystic Ruins, just in different parts of it. Sonic lands in front of the Lost World Temple, and it opens up for him to do that level now. He sees the mural inside and figures out that bad things will happen if they don't protect the Chaos Emerald. It's always bothered me that Sonic sees what can happen if Chaos gets all the emeralds after he's done encountering Chaos in his story, so giving him a little better understanding of the stakes feels right. Amy still finds the bird and is chased by Zero, but the fact that Robotnik's ship and a giant robot is running around Station Square makes the news, which Sonic hears about when he gets back near the train in the Mystic Ruins. We've got all those archaeologist guys just standing around, let's give them something to do, right? They can all be crowded around a radio or something. Sonic hears about the panic and heads to Station Square. Meanwhile on the Egg Carrier, Eggman tells the 100 series to find Froggy, but also keep an eye out for the bird with Amy. Both are important to Eggman's plan after all. Tails wakes up in the Mystic Ruins, no Sonic in sight, and he panics. He's been left behind, he feels like a failure, until he finds the Chaos Emerald on the ground. Now he has something very tangible to prove. Then all the froggy business happens, and he makes the Tornado 2 exist. Sonic returns to Station Square and sees Amy's being chased by Zero into Twinkle Park, and he goes to save her. Does this get rid of the cute couples get in free moment? Yes. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Amy exits Twinkle Park and runs into Gamma, and they have their conversation that they have in the egg carrier holding cell here instead. Gamma starts questioning his choices a little earlier, and he lets Amy go, but then sees Froggy heading to Emerald Coast, and knowing he can't come home empty-handed, or he'll end up like Beta, he chases after the frog. Amy, however, is still captured by Zero, showing how Gamma really is different from other robots, and Sonic chases after them back to the Mystic Ruins. Zero takes Amy back to Eggman's base, but Eggman's not home, he's on the Egg Carrier, which Sonic sees fly by and chases after it to Red Mountain. Big has followed Gamma into Eggman's base in search of Froggy, but has gotten lost, which doesn't seem at all out of character to me. Zero runs into his flubby body, which has no effect on Big, but bounces the robot backwards and frees Amy from its clutches, and she escapes through Final Egg. While she's hiding from Zero in the Final Egg, she discovers some of Eggman's notebooks or a computer file talking about the tablets and the power they control. She doesn't have a clue what it's about, having not encountered Chaos yet, but it sounds like something Eggman shouldn't have access to, so she decides to board the Egg Carrier to help Sonic and maybe find Birdie's family on board. The Egg Carrier arrives at Eggman's base to pick up Gamma, so Gamma, Amy, and Big all board the Egg Carrier from the base, followed by Zero. Knuckles decides to take the Master Emerald pieces he has so far to the shrine and restore them, instead of magically being teleported there. He sees the Egg Carrier fly overhead and goes through Red Mountain as well, picking up a few Emerald pieces on the way, and he meets up with Sonic at the end. Tails flies by and they all catch a ride. And guess what, y'all? That brings us to the climax. And this is where things get wild. So Gamma hands over Froggy to Eggman, who yells at all the other robots and teleports them away. And this is where Gamma has had enough. He decides he can't work for Eggman anymore, and he wants to free his friends. So he jumps ship and goes to find his fellow 100 series. To blow them up. Amy and Big are in hot shelter when Big sees Froggy get plopped into the tank and starts fishing. Amy gets chased and escapes Zero once again, and the Sonic heroes do Skydeck. After rescuing Delta and Epsilon, by blowing them up, yeah I know that was really fast, but <laughs> whatever. Knuckles had a flashback transfer a whole day in the real story, it's fine. Gamma returns to the ship and finds and rescues Zeta as well, by blowing them up. And this sets up Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Gamma, and Big all to meet up on the deck of the Egg Carrier. Yes! Eggman shows up and commands Gamma to attack the heroes. Sonic doesn't listen to Amy, who says that Gamma is actually a good boy, and Sonic instigates a fight, but she eventually gets them to stop, and Gamma says Eggman is the enemy. This gives Sonic a little character growth as well, like he should listen to his friends, because immediately jumping to violence all the time... That's no good. 
Eggman is shocked that Gamma has betrayed him. But no matter, as I now have something more powerful than you could ever dream of being, Gamma. Behold, the new and improved Beta! And Gamma and Beta have their fight. Zero sneaks up and snags the bird from Amy, and Eggman takes the Chaos Emerald from the bird and flies off to Chaos. Zero is clearly hurting the bird, and Amy goes full badass and starts to put a beat down on Zero. There's a moment where everyone else offers to help, but she's like, nah, I'm good, I got this, you all go do your thing. And she saves the bird. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles follow after Eggman. Big, who is still kind of a pacifist observer at this point, and confused as hell, wants to stay out of it and leave. But Froggy jumps off to chaos as well, so he follows after. Beta and Gamma both explode, freeing the birds inside and they fly to Amy and their precious baby. Amy, realizing she's far more capable than she thought she was at the beginning of the game, decides Sonic might need her help and heads for chaos. Eggman, seeing how many frickin' people there are to fight, decides to pull a desperation move. He launches his missile at Station Square and is basically like, make your choice, you can't save everyone now, and Tails jumps into action and says he'll take care of the missile. Everyone's like, Tails, are you sure you're up to this? And Tails is like, I know I can, and butt propellers off to chase the missile down Speed Highway. Around this time, Froggy and Big show up, and most of the regular events occur. But now Knuckles is there, meaning Sonic and Knuckles both fight Chaos 6 at the same time, not awkwardly one after another. With one major twist, though. You know what is approximately 20 feet away from the battlefield? The Tornado 2. You know what's in the Tornado 2? The last Chaos Emerald. That should really play into the stakes, don't you think? Sonic and Knuckles have to protect that emerald like their lives depend on it. They defeat Chaos, and Amy arrives, and sees Eggman has the tablets up in his Eggmobile. Amy realizes what Eggman's been up to and says, Sonic, you have to get the tablets from Eggman! And having just learned the importance of actually listening to others, Sonic goes for the tablets. But in the struggle, the tablets get destroyed. You fools! shouts Eggman, and Chaos is freed from Eggman's control and starts to destroy the egg carrier because it really didn't ever explain why it was blowing up in the real story. Meanwhile, Tails has stopped the missile, but it transforms into the Eggwalker. Tails defeats the Eggwalker and becomes the hero of Station Square. So what if Eggman's not actually piloting it? It's still a big scary robot thing and Tails defeats it all on his own. Tails. Bearing the power of self-respect. The Egg Carrier is going down. Knuckles, instead of Tails, takes Amy and they glide away. Sonic tells Big to take the Tornado too, and he's gonna deal with Eggman. So everyone escapes except Sonic, who rides the ship down. And I mean, it's just as believable as him falling on his head like this, so it's fine. The ship crashes, and everyone thinks it must have killed Chaos. Knuckles finds the six Chaos Emeralds in the wreckage and takes them to Angel Island, as he restores the Master Emerald. I like the idea of Knuckles' story actually being a cliffhanger. Angel Island doesn't float again at the end, and Knuckles can't figure out what's going on, but we get to see that Chaos is on the island in puddle form. It's all ominous. <laughs> Sonic chases Eggman into the final egg, the Egg Viper fight, and the end of the six character stories. So that just leaves the supersonic section, which just needs a few tweaks. So Chaos finds Eggman and isn't the most happy about being controlled like that, and beats the snot out of him and Knuckles, taking the six Chaos Emeralds. Sonic and Tails arrive, and Knuckles joins the squad on the hunt for the Tornado 2. It gets got, and Station Square gets destroyed. And I just realized after rewatching the clip that the bird that's with Amy is the one that was in Gamma. That's a really nice little touch. All the heroes find each other in the ruins of the city, and it's finally time for Tikal to pop out of the hint ball and shares with everyone one single flashback, explaining everything in one fell swoop. There's a part of me that wants to cut the second egg carrier, because seriously, it's absurd. I thought about what if Eggman was with everyone else trying to stop chaos at the end? but that just didn't feel right. So the backup egg carrier lives to see another day. And I know I said I wouldn't add or take away any levels, but if I could, it would be a level here where all the heroes have to work together in the ruins of Station Square to get the Chaos Emeralds back. But anyway, the heroes collect all the Chaos Emeralds, Sonic goes Super Saiyan and he saves the day. Takal talks to Chaos after he's back to his normal form, telling him how sorry she is for the actions of her father, and shows that while they were trapped in the Master Emerald, the Chow have thrived and have missed him. Tails does not say all's well that ends well over a destroyed city. My god. He says that the rebuilding process is going to take a while, but they owe it to the people of Station Square. But Sonic sees Eggman flying off and says, yeah we do, but Eggman needs to pay, so I'll be right back, and chases after. The end. So there you have it. My take on a better Sonic Adventure story. What do you think? Did I mangle your childhood nostalgia? 
Or does my version enhance the story just a little bit? Let me know in the comments how good or bad I did. And don't worry, I can take it. If nothing else, I hope you had fun on my little creative writing exercise. I know I did. Thank you again. Like it, subscribe it, ring it. It's all greatly appreciated. But most importantly, have a good one.